Okay, okay. Then, mate. Well, I didn't see you at the house before. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's... Oh, um, look, about the chemistry project we have to do tomorrow. We really need you to bring in some materials. What can we do that? What? Uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. John, you sure you're alright? Yeah. You seem a bit off. I'm fine. This is just. You're thinking about last night, aren't you? Well, to think that you've been chasing her for months now. If you didn't like her, I would have thought you crazy. So what now? What now? With her. Honestly, I... Right, yeah, whatever. Look, I promised I'd meet Voita for some homework sort of thing. I'll, I'll catch you later, right? Sure. Uh, I'm a striker. Striker? He's crap. You got a problem with striker? Yeah, you shit. Well, pfft. you better fucking get a verdict because you're about to get the shit beaten out of you. Right, no need to slaughter me. So, anyway, what about Susanna? What about her? You gonna ask her out? Yeah, yeah of course. How? Uh, I don't know. Over text? No. Maybe. You, want, you want to be more personal. After all, you do want to. Yeah, how is that? Well, I'm no expert, but you do want to maximise your chances. Come on, like she would want some of this. Just, just don't ask her out over text. What the hell, man? Just go up to her and ask her in person. Like how? In person! Fine. Just start it up already, let's go. I've got, to, I've got to go and study. Are you serious? Come on, that's the I've second, got a test to that's I promise the second time to this week me. that you're going to leave me. How fucking important can squash right, be? Alright, I haven't killed anyone. It's not my fault I'm in the top set. Alright, oh, just, just go. Enjoy. You probably suspected this. Fuck that time is done. I know that you probably already know this, but in the last couple of weeks, my feelings towards you have grown. Now, obviously, that was going to happen because because you're amazing with you know your hair and those eyes and. Even if you didn't have your hair and eyes. <sighs> and even if you didn't have hair for some bizarre medical reason, I would still adore you. And I was just wondering if you do you have any feelings by any chance? 
Remember that, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right, so what you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, just uh, recording your bullshit monologue, as you would normally do. I swear. If oh, come on, relax. Relax. I'm just joking. Uh, do you have some paper around here uh, for you that we could use for the project? Yeah, yeah, there's next door in the study room there. Alright, alright, alright. In the printer there's some stuff. Alright, cool. Alright. Enjoy! Where have you been? I've been calling you all morning. Fucking answer me! What? I'm sorry for swearing, it's just... Look, have you, have you got the materials? What do you mean, huh? We're gonna waste the whole lunch because of you. You better meet me at the start. Clear?
I, I don't, don't really know. It's, it's been arguing so much for the past few weeks. Have you heard what they've been saying? No, really. It's just swearing and doors banging it so much for me. Look, remember when my parents were going through a divorce? I had to go through the exact same thing you are right now. What did you do? I just did the same thing you're doing. I just flew to my friends. Look, it's fine. It will get better, trust me. It always does. What if it doesn't? I mean, what happens to me? It does. Promise. Of course. But if you want, you can stay here at my place tonight. Maybe I'm quite recovered yet. What's happened, John? Two days go by and you're someone else. Where the hell you be? You left me in the fucking bed again. What's happened? What's wrong with you? Is it your parents? You would have never screwed me over in our last few years, John. You prick. I feel like I've hurt John. And I don't know what I could have possibly done to do that, but I just feel that way. Like I've let him down. And and aside from you, he's been my only friend, my best friend. And I know it's out of stupid, but I just feel like I'm no, no, it's okay. I I understand. Is it something you did? How could you possibly say that? How could you say? How could you fucking say that? You've not had John oh, as your oh. best friend for three years. How can you accuse me because of his mental breakdown? Would you fucking need therapy or something? You fucking know I didn't mean it that way, and you know it. I'm just trying to fucking help you out here. Thanks for the great help. Well, fuck it. I'm so fucking sorry then. John, if I'm not part of your plans, then just suit yourself. And I was the only one that helped you through your depression. And the only one that supported you when your dad was in prison. I was the only one that cared for three years! John, this is probably why it says parental advisory on the cover. Exactly what I said actually. He talked about John changing and 
Like, he'd be even a psychopath, but... Like, like, like someone who doesn't... And he doesn't really want him in his life anymore. But I, I think it was something more than that. Like what? I don't know. I think he might have been too afraid to say. But I haven't seen him anywhere around today, which is really unusual. It's not like him. I just hope that, like, me, myself, actually don't get cut away from Killian's life. Well, I'm done with John. He's been different since the ball. I don't really like John either. I always felt like we had to compete over Killian. And why is that? Well, I guess the me feeling was mutual. And though what? I do worry about him, though, because the way Killian talked about him, he sounds like he has a mental Oh my god!